Revelation 3, 15 to 16 says, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. My name is Jared Lentz, and I realize that may be an odd verse to begin a testimony with, but I am going somewhere with this. My testimony does not begin with the words before I was saved, because I accepted Christ so early on that I can't remember that moment. My redemption story begins when I found myself shook quite literally to the core in an enormous earthquake in Japan in 2011. Because I was lukewarm and not actively seeking God and grounded in his word, I did not fall towards God when the ground shook. I fell away. I became an atheist, which ultimately led to a very nihilistic view of the world. From there, it wasn't hard to become depressed and then suicidal. I sought comfort in all the wrong places, including addictions that I battled alone in the dark because I was too ashamed to seek help. Looking back on this time now, I see the hand of God miraculously protecting me from my own destructive behavior, including a moment where I have no doubt that God miraculously stopped my motorcycle from working just long enough for me to decide not to drive it into oncoming traffic. There are many more miracles like that, but don't have time right now. Of course, God has always been there. And by there, I mean here, right next to me, working to bring me back to him. About a year ago, God was able to reach my heart through yet another miraculous circumstance, and while I didn't immediately turn to him, I became curious and open again. I began to read the Bible regularly, and through a series of events that were so specifically tailored to me that they could have only come from my Creator, I ended up here at this church about five months ago. I am now fully back on the path of doing my best to seek God daily, and God has responded powerfully, including one more thing that's pretty miraculous to me, which I must share. Matthew 17, 20 says, Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. I stand before you, a man of little faith. I have wrestled with doubt my entire life, including right here, in this moment. And I have felt so ashamed, unworthy, and fake because of that. I thought surely my doubt is a curse to my faith. But just last week, as I sat right over there, God revealed something to me. My doubt is not a curse. It is a gift. God showed me that my doubt is not a stumbling block, but a grindstone against which I can sharpen my faith. And let me tell you, God's given me a mighty grindstone. It will never tire. So I will be able to sharpen my faith until the moment I am standing face to face with him. I still have a long way to go. I have many hurdles to overcome, but this baptism is a symbol of my renewed commitment to Christ. I am committed to staying on this path no matter what. So it is my sincere desire, prayer, and commitment before God and this congregation that I may never be lukewarm again. Jared, I know you just said it, but I'm going to ask you again anyway. Do you believe in Jesus Christ with all of your heart and that he has forgiven you of all of your sins and that he is your Lord and Savior? Yes. And you, in the presence of your friends and family, want to follow his command to be baptized as a public declaration of that? Yes. And 
Jared, it is my great honor and privilege to baptize you today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.